Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Yes, I've been playing. Hold up, let me lower my volume down real quick. No, I, you know, I've been playing this game f um, for a long time, <laughs> and also I've been playing it a lot recently because um, I want to finish it. And I technically already finished the game because I um, I did the thing. Um, what did I do? I, be I beat the final boss, basically. It's the second time today. It's the second, okay? I look, I made I made three yesterday and then two today. Okay, I need to finish this game. This should be the last video I make of this game, though. Bro, I'm you... like, I already beat the final boss, so like. You know. wake up at 12 a.m. Still cool. grinding all the way to 12 a.m. to the next day. <laughs> okay. No eating, no sleeping, no nothing. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the intro is, uh, or the opening is really, uh, you know, amazing. Yeah, yeah, I like the intro. Right. So what I'm hoping for is in the Persona, f uh, Persona Three Reload game that the music's not copyright. You know, because uh, there was some stuff that was going on. Pers all of the music in Persona Four is not copyright. <laughs> Um, but Persona 3, the intros are copyright, because it has two intros. Both intros are copyright. Like, there's this one song that plays when you're at, like, the school, I guess. I don't know. That's copyright. And then Persona 5, the freaking. I think the intro is just copyright. I think that's the only thing, but I don't know. But either way, let's, uh, let's go to sleep. Um, because we have, we have a trip today. Or t tomorrow, but today, now. So yeah, we have a trip. We're going skiing. Today is the day of your ski trip with your friends. It will be your last big memory of winter in Inaba. Your endeavor to, uh, you, you endeavor to have as much fun as possible. Mm, okay. We gotta have as much fun as possible. Oh, cutscene, 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 cutscene. I always gotta hide this during cutscenes because, you know. <laughs> yeah! Yusuke, you're pretty good! Dude, you too! Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? What? <laughs> Senpai! You're too <laughs> Damn, bro, it's me. You gotta open up your stance. Do you get it? Get <laughs> now, hold bro. It's easier said than. <laughs> oh, good damn, bro. Oh, so sorry. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Not gonna lie, all of these ships are are ships I have a, approve of from Persona Four. You know, Kanji uh, Naoto, Regan Chie Yosuke, um, I guess Teddy and Yukiko, and then um, either like you know the main character and Rise, because Rise is my favorite character out of the the main cast. And there's also um, Marie, which is uh, since this is the true golden ending, I believe. Uh, you know, Marie's also a, a character in this ending that, you know, but either way. <laughs> hey, yo, the Teddy Snowman. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Uh, you ski down the slopes a number of times, enjoying the time with your... Uh, okay. Uh, let me turn this back on. Oh, shoot. Uh, turn it back on. There you go. We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with now 
Watch on. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. You were doing it on purpose, you bastard. You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, now to come? How was it? I can't Now it sucks. Kanji <laughs> is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. Well, actually, now it's my favorite as the main cast, but yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it till now. I'm super hungry. What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. Uh, I don't know what that is. Non-regional part caught my attention. So it's a non-style style. <laughs> a non-style style. What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean. I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake you made was. Yeah, that was cake. I wasn't yelling. And that cake was only good because Naldo helped you. <laughs> That's not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now. Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! Shut up, Chie. You're a carnivore, are you? <laughs> I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Miku. Everyone turns to look at Teddy. What the fuck, dude? Uh, you finished skiing for today and decided to return to the lodge. Okay. It's now evening, after dinner. Everyone gathered in the lounge. Lounge. <laughs> lounge. <laughs> Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? That's just a whole lot of, a uh, lot of diff different types of food there, you know? <laughs> while we were having dinner. He was gonna hold out in the bath until they showed up. Bro, what? Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, Senpai? Uh, 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 why don't we go night skiing? I've no. always been impressed by people who can do that. No. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Oh, man. <laughs> we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes when you take pictures in that room during Obong, they don't come out right. Uh-huh. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Paniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. <laughs> 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 
Bro, now to a scare, bro. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um. Now to a scare, bro. You're scared too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> bro, now to like, yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? I love them. Oh, so. You got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? Huh. I can't believe Shut up, Morangi. Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? <laughs> you stop calling me that day. <laughs> well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts, creepy. Okay. Let's see. Ghost stories. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in the room. Okay. No how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. All her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, Suddenly, uh -huh. his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. When he asked the people at school what happened, Seems the girl they were bullying was dead. Ah. Okay. Not gonna lie. Hold up. I can't remember correctly. Um, the story kind of sounds similar to a one, uh, something that happened in Persona Three. <laughs> um, I can't entirely um remember what happened that's as far as i watched up to in the uh, persona 3 anime i've only seen like i think the first movie which covers the part i'm thinking of um yeah i don't know it's uh it's with the these uh bully girls and i'm pretty sure it was something similar to that whatever i'm gonna play persona 3 after after i finish this game so i will uh, get caught up back with that so yeah they said that the girl must have so been no, a spirit that haunted them one that. by one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can go stop laughing. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. Yeah. That's not denying okay. it. Okay. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? Well, I think she turned up okay. Yeah, yeah, cuz this I'm I, I'm I'm pretty sure this is this is the story from Persona 3. And like, hold up, 3 years ago kind of makes sense because you know whenever we went to the 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 school vacation or whatnot, I forgot. The the field trip, there you go. The field trip we went we went to the school from Persona 3. And I'm pretty sure that was like 3 years or or whatnot in the future because the people who were going there aren't going there anymore and stuff so yeah i don't i don't really know but i'm pretty sure this story is is from persona 3. well you're next what do you have in mind um on a trip one night just like this <laughs> this happened to me recently i can't do this damn i don't know which one to pick uh on a trip one night just like this you're gonna do this to us too 
You decide to tell them a story you know. <laughs> Late at night, he heard crying. He woke up in a blue room. Um, he woke up in a blue room. Come on, this isn't a ghost story anymore, is it? It's just a story about someone being kidnapped. We're, tell it, we're telling the story about the freaking uh, velvet room, bro. <laughs> I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. You can't just end no, it. Was, That's even scarier. It was Teddy, bro. Hanako and Kashiwagi monsters. <laughs> okay, a creepy man with a log in the nose. <laughs> yes, we're gonna tell the story about the velvet room, bro. That long? <laughs> <laughs> Where the power's out now. Blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? <laughs> Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Hurry! Hang on! Where's the switch? Bro, it's Teddy. Well, what's Teddy doing, bro? Snacks while I'm gone. I'm gonna curse you. <laughs> Get him. Let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. Bruh, br what? Okay. My God, dude. Well, babes, what's come over you? What, why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. Bro, uh, <laughs> she's still. <laughs> she, the night goes on. Okay, it's the twelfth now. Damn, the second day of the ski trip. You decide to spend your time on the slopes until the sun sets. All right, time to hit the snow. Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. <laughs> uh -oh. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? <laughs> Shut up. Who want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? <laughs> a little listening i heard things about now chan's size and yeah chan's shape wait what about my shape have i changed somehow you're letting him get to you you're being manipulated Jeez, <laughs> let's just enjoy our day skiing let's go senpai serious bro i need a see it now to uh, right there. without, or, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Don't you think you're being a little too, you know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Um, uh, <laughs> it works out so nicely. You and Yosuke Senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko Senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Hey, what are you <laughs> so, it's only natural that I did it with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai. Let's go. Our magic is 100% ironclad. Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. <laughs> Why are you impressed? <clears throat> The, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In Bruh. other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. <laughs> My god, dude. I want to make memories with Senpai too. Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. 
Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. <laughs> oh, what? Um, hey. Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. Okay, okay. I know what call I'm gonna make. Seeing everyone staring at you. Uh, okay. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. I concur. Damn, bro. I see how it is, Yosuke. I see how it is, Yosuke! Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Bro, I was fixing to answer. I really wanted to ski with you. Jealous? <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! I shouldn't have spoken up for you! Am I jealous? Of course I am! <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Well, let's go enjoy the slopes. Damn, bro. Uh, uh, you plan to make today a fun day as well. Everyone is joining the slopes. Kanji is helping Naoto practice. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No. Not at all. You're freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in, or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. I already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? No, shut up, my guy. They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. Uh, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Yo. Those two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. Shut I up, Rise. In other people's way, so. Ah. Please wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay. Last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop! <laughs> Don't worry, someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Uh, right! <laughs> I'll catch Naoto. Uh, I'll catch you, I'll catch Naoto. <laughs> You're now the center of attention. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Ben, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now to come. Damn, bro. I'm trying Just to steal to freaking Kanji's straight. girl, bro. What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing ski! <laughs> <laughs> bro fell in the water. I think I'm going to walk. <laughs> Damn, bro. Uh, time passes as you have fun on the slopes. The sun is going to be setting soon. Should you ask someone to accompany you down the slopes? Hell yeah, ask Naoto. Why, why wouldn't I ask Naoto? You decide to ask Naoto to ski with you. You and Naoto enjoy your time together on the mountain. My legs are more tired than I thought. I thought I'd have learned to not fall down anymore, but I must be tensing my legs too much. Naoto seems quite exhausted. I'm sorry. You must hate having a total beginner holding you back like this. I've always been able to pick up new skills when they become necessary, but I've never had to ski before. Murder mysteries may take place in snowy mountain retreats and novels, but it's not that often in real life. <laughs> a telephone line in a mountain cottage during a blizzard is obviously suicidal, too. I wonder how long it's been since I last tried so hard to just have fun. I used to think that these frivolities were a waste of time, that they wouldn't make me any better of a person. 
Okay. But thinking back on it, I have to laugh. I was all alone then. I want to come back here again. Uh, let's come again with everyone. Let's make it just us next time. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you What do you mean? What do you mean by you that? You mean that some one-on-one -on -one coaching would increase the efficiency of practice? Then I suppose so. That's not what I was talking about. Naoto seems to seems to be slightly at a loss. Shall we start heading back? The snow's starting to fall quite heavily. Which uh, way yeah. should we be okay. to get back to the lodge? I don't know. Oh, well, I thought I was simply following you today, so I wasn't checking on our course. It should be... I think it's left. <laughs> you don't sound very confident. But then again, I'm sure we'll get somewhere as long as we stick to the ski course. We should leave soon then. I can't go very fast, after all. Okay. <sighs> oh no, the snow is rapidly decreasing any visibility. You decide to somehow make your way to the lodge. Okay, did we make it? No, we're lost. <laughs> we're lost. <laughs> uh, you've walked quite a bit, but the lodge is still nowhere to be seen. The snow seems to be coming down even harder now. Um, okay. Is this really the right way? It's uh, not that I don't sure. Believe you. Yeah. I feel that been past this this, area. this this is the right way totally yeah we've been past this way on our way down you know so that's why the lodge would be this way lost. I don't want to admit it though this is a problem the snow could be concealing small rivers or cliffs beneath us I don't think we should be walking around aimlessly actually I'm reaching my limits don't fall asleep no matter what we should keep watching let's dig a snow hut <laughs> I don't fall asleep no matter what. I know. <laughs> That's what they say in the adventure novels. Please, don't go too far ahead. I'm feeling anxious. Okay. Now look, it has. Huh? Look, isn't that a cottage? Thank yeah. Goodness. Even if that place is empty, there should be things there. We may be able to get ourselves warm. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to this random ass cottage in the middle of this forest. Excuse me. You know? Is anyone here? This is how horror movies start, dude. There is no answer from inside. Mm. Damn, bro. Couldn't some B and E, bro. Uh, the door was unlocked, but there's no one inside. It was unlocked. I wonder why though. Some places don't use padlocks because they've been known to freeze shut in extreme conditions. Let's just consider ourselves lucky for now. Uh huh. There's a fire. Naoto looks anxious. Um, are you scared? About it not being locked? True, that does sometimes lead to crime or assaults, but we should be all right. I don't suspect anyone is here. If there was, it would be warmer in here. Yeah, okay. Um, do you happen to have your cell phone? I tried making uh, numerous but I don't know. We were lost. My phone's battery has run out. Damn. Uh, <laughs> you do have your cell phone. Um, if there is a signal, you may be able to call for help. Uh, the screen reads no service. It seems there is no single signal here. Could all the snow be disrupting the signal? Uh, probably. The blizzard isn't calming down either. I doubt it will last long, considering the weather here in the mountains. But this still isn't good. We may be indoors, but the cold is a very real threat. Yeah, it's a very real a threat. Oh, there, uh, by the way, warming each other with our bodies would be ineffective in our case. That only works Why? when your clothes are wet. Or one person's uh -huh. body temperature has been significantly lowered. Uh, uh -huh. right. No one asked uh -huh. for details. Uh huh. Yep. I see. Mm -hmm. On a more serious yeah, note, we do need to find a way to warm ourselves, or we'll be in trouble. <laughs> <sighs> a 
Upon closer inspection, this sunken hearth uses charcoal and not firewood. Thank goodness. Okay. If we can get some ventilation in this room, we'll be able to use this. Now we need something to start a fire, but a place like this should have some tools available. You find old newspapers and some matches. After some effort, you manage to get a fire started in the heart. Here, here, heart. I don't know. Seems we won't have to worry for the time being. Ah, oh, Prometheus. Thank you for fire. <laughs> okay, damn. This is, well, a more effective way to get warm. We can't let any last mm. bit of heat go to waste, after all. <laughs> uh huh. Sure, now, so. Where could we go? Damn, bro. I'm, I'm over here stealing Kanji's girl, dude. Walking towards the lodge. Even once the blizzard settles, it's risky to walk around in the mountains at night. It seems we have no choice but to stay here. Mm. Strange. We're in quite a pinch, but some part of me is actually enjoying this all alone. Yay! Stuck in a mountain cottage for an entire night. <laughs> Yikes. I think this feeling is referred to as the suspension bridge effect. What? <laughs> oh, what? that turned on right now correct uh let's check it out yes i can't pretend it didn't happen what is it it sounded like a tv Whoa, and there's a flash what are you doing that you should stop doing that i i mean this is hardly an ideal location to be trying this stop before you go too deep uh, what's happening? What are you guys doing? This isn't that kind of mystery detective. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> it's just an incredibly romantic situation up on a ski trip. Don't give in. Um, what? Everyone, they're still dressed. Um, okay. <laughs> Freezing <and> weather. <laughs> Dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? Are you really asking that question? That's a TV. Now, John, were you waiting for an audience? Shameless. <laughs> you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. <laughs> Dude, okay, what? I'll take a front row seat and... I, I'm having a hard time understanding what you're trying to get at. You came to rescue us, correct? Actually, since when were you all outside? Don't tell me you've been here the entire time. No, I mean, not on purpose. It would have been awkward to interrupt before, but... So, you're <laughs> saying that you were... <laughs> we came because we were worried about you. More to the point, what are the two of you doing in here? We needed to examine this TV here in greater detail. TV? Why? It's not plugged in. Come on, guys. Don't try that lame excuse on us. That is not an excuse. It's the truth. Yeah. Senpai attempted to go inside the television and... Why are you looking at me like that? Everyone is staring at you in contempt. <laughs> you just fully explain, explain what, uh, what happened just now. Obviously aren't listening to what we're trying to tell you. The TV turned itself on even though it isn't plugged in. Since the Midnight Channel is no more, we need to investigate. There's no way we'd risk ourselves to come to this stupid little shack just out of some impure motives. But this building is right behind the lodge, though. We were told that it's a storage shed. They don't lock it because workers come here often during the day. Ah. And it's not like there's a blizzard or anything. <sighs> What? There was a blizzard, Maybe though. Maybe just saw a reflection from the ski lights or something. That's impossible. Then again, I don't think Naoto Kun would lie about something like this. And since we're yeah. here, we might as well check out this TV. Hey, wait a sec. A cutscene. Cutscene time. Do it. Do it, Chie. 
Oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh! She's getting pulled in! Who is that? Ah! We got pulled in! Oh my god, what's happening? We just got pulled in to the TV! What? <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't know, Yosuke. <laughs> Why is this inside the TV? It's a dungeon. My. <laughs> oh, is it Margaret? I think that's Margaret. Cause Margaret said she'd, uh, you know, come get us whenever <laughs> she found. Yeah, it's Margaret. Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. <sighs> Whoa, she's beautiful. Time for gawking? I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? Uh, she's my sweetheart, a friend of sorts. <laughs> friend? What type of friend yeah. is she? You got one mysterious life. Yep. Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a help on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Trust her. I think so. <laughs> Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. A uh, promise? You meant about Marie? Yes, I have come to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. Uh, you did ask to be taken to where Marie is. <laughs> is she here? This is the Hollow Forest. The closed realm, created by her in the TV world. The world of the human mind. It would seem mm. that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Uh, she shut herself in? I do not know everything. But, as you know, she was searching for her memory. And by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Ah, okay. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? Uh, yes. I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean she's here? And what was that about her memory? Everyone is worried about Marie. Uh, what should you do? Explain Marie's situation. You explained that Marie had lost her memory and that she is currently missing. Oh, I mean, what? <laughs> we are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Can you tell me? I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone. Rather, she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here. Does that mean Marie's son has the persona ability as well? Uh, no. No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. What kind of girl are you showing around town? <laughs> Hold on. This is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... Marie is in danger. He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows. I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead in search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. Uh, is that why you brought my friends? Is, is it that dangerous? Is that why you brought my friends? The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. If you wish to see her again, 
then it is my role to help you. Okay, you yes. So, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. How'd everyone fit through that TV? Bring just our leader here. Now Teddy's, uh, you know, kind of big. <laughs> giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help. You are also like Marie-san? A resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Yes. You about those things that came out of Namatomic? Well, they uh, were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers, as I know that you have been capable of coming this far. Yes. One. Ah, uh, done. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. Okay. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever. And you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. Oh no. We'll lose our memory. <sighs> no. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? I won't forget. I understand your conviction, but the chances of that are quite low. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. Okay. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world screens are linked, place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. Ah, yeah, okay. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. No. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, wait! Uh, please? <laughs> She's gone. It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. Yeah. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. Yeah. So now what else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? I've been preparing for this my, my whole life. If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Ugh. But I am gonna beat it in this video. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. Ow. Ugh. Who was pushing me? Shut it. There's eight of us and it's a tiny frickin' TV. Ow. I dented my head in. Anybody wanna touch it? Shut up, Teddy. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up. We got a meeting to hold. Yes. Do? What are we gonna talk about? Uh, I don't know, but we always have one, right? I guess you just <laughs> to be the one to say it. <laughs> yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. <laughs> yeah, that's rude, you know. <laughs> Still, that was.
was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. Uh, sorry for keeping secrets. No, it couldn't have been helped. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. Not to, have you even met Marie? Be like the first <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. I don't think now to met Marie, the but I don't know. Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? Her memory is the key. Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Well, yeah, she just said she got her memories back. <laughs> or she found what she was looking for. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world is in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Isn't that the same as dying? Uh, not, not necessarily. Wait, you mean she's trying to? It just feels that way to me. It is kind of dying, but at the same time, it's not like you forget everyone who's died. <laughs> she wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emmy-chan's like me. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. Teddy. The atmosphere is heavy. What should you do? I need your help. We can't leave her like this. Yeah, I think that too. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood. So I toughened up and started fighting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. Uh huh. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie Chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. Yes, we gotta do That's that. That's that then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. We should devote a day to... Oh, shit. Uh... Wait. Teddy, Risei-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there yes. are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> let's do this! Oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah, all right. It's super snippy time together with Risei-chan. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. Ew! <laughs> hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. <laughs> what do you mean at least? Bruh. Let's regroup at school. Okay? Uh, your friends are thinking back to the way things used to be. According to Margaret, uh, there isn't much time before that place closes. You must find Marie quickly, or you will never be able to see her again. You are concerned about Marie. But first, you should get a grasp of the situation at hand. Yeah. You return to the lodge and pack your bags to return home. Okay, it's now the next day. 
Today you're supposed to discuss what happened yesterday. Hurry to school. Okay, why not? I'll go to school. Ugh, it's cold. Well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest and yet you went and did research. But I went and checked the newspaper too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. Of course there wasn't. I tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. Yeah, I tried talking to some former punks, but didn't get jacked. There's a weird snowman up here. <laughs> Perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Risei-san found. How did your search go? Feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emmy Chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. Uh huh. The forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie Chan make that area? I don't know. Last battle, right? I don't remember. I was wondering the same thing. Amino Sagiri mentioned it. He did. That gave birth to those who answer the guess. desires <laughs> and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marie Chan's mind is the same force that created that monster? What's going on here? Well, who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her. But it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Yeah. Uh, we'll find her. Yeah, let's do it! Whoever she is, we're not letting her die like this. That's right! I'm burning up! Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Yes, we gotta do it. Everyone's hearts have came together. Or, okay. Wait a sec. If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What no. should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. Okay, you hurry to your mountain cabin to save Marie. We're here. Uh, we can go, uh, we can get, get to that hollow forest by entering this TV. Let's hurry up and jump in there then. Uh, that place is gonna get closed off soon, right? Yeah, that Margaret person said it was definitely gonna ha going to happen. Why is the fox here? <laughs> I think we're still okay for today, but I can sense it getting further and further away. Wait, does that mean we have no idea what'll happen tomorrow? That is quite un that is quite likely. It was a completely different place until very recently. Since there's no guarantee that we'll be able to enter it tomorrow, we must do something about it today. Right. It'll be it'll be it'll be a bit tough, but we've got to go we've got to do this. Come on, let's save Marie Chan today! Uh, why not? Yeah. I went to the TV. I hope there's a save point on the other side, because I kind of need to save. Um, there is. Okay. Huh? It's snowing. Oh, you're right. Huh? This is... This isn't snow. These are flower petals. You can hear a voice from somewhere. Listen to my voice. My shouting bellowing voice here i am pour my blood into my words yelling at the very edge of the world i am the little mermaid unable to return the little mermaid 
uh, faded to foam, the Little Mermaid. Is this Marie-chan's voice? She sounds so sad. Yeah, okay. Let, uh, let him uh, save uh, at 9. Okay, guys. But I'll actually end the video here because this video is kind of getting bit... Uh, it's uh, 55 minutes right now. And I kind of wanted to... I wanted to finish the entire game this video. But if I do that and like I pause, I go through the entire thing, fight the final boss at the end, which I'm pretty sure there is going to be a final boss at the end. And uh, do all that. And then I'll have to... Uh, go through the end part this game this video will probably be a lot longer um but i don't know should i like, what time is it yeah it's it's uh, almost 12 right now so guys i will end the video here so hope you enjoyed it you know uh don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe uh, uh next video we're gonna definitely save marie inside of this uh dungeon right here and then uh next video will for sure be the last persona for video persona for golden video and then um we i will upload my persona 3 videos and then continue playing the game so guys like i said i hope to see you guys next time peace out and you know bye bye